go. It's one big hole. They're getting ready to put the tank in, I think. That's pretty quick go. So the guys, the guys are here today putting the septic tank in, so that went in this morning. They dug a huge pit yesterday and uh, they've been putting the pipework in today. So they've been digging trenches and um, this is what they've done at the south end. So we've got a trench with the pipework in. They've actually connected one toilet and that goes round to the, pit, the septic tank in. That's where the septic tank's been dropped into an enormous hole. They dug the hole yesterday. It's nearly all clay that they've taken out, but they actually loaded up two lorries with the clay and took it away, which is great. So the spoil pile is actually topsoil and they have grit to load around it to fill the hole back up. I think it's also the weight of the grit's gonna hold it down because we do get a lot of rain through the winter. And there's always the danger of the tank actually floating up um, and coming back out of the ground. So the trench work they've recently done goes the other way to the north. And uh, Mark did tell them where the electrics run. So this is the trench to the north. And this is where we have a cistern for water. And this is the little soak away that we didn't know we had. We knew it was here somewhere, but didn't know where. So we finally found that under a slab of concrete. How are you getting on with fixing the cabling? It worked out where they are. Sorry? It worked out where they are and what they are. I'm just um, excavating back to try and find a bit of a tube so I can put a bit of replacement tube in the, the junction box and join them all together again. It's a bit of a pain isn't it? It is a bit but poo happens as they say. <laughs> At 
least they know what I'm doing. What an advantage. to do. No. It's done. I've emptied all the rubbish out from there. Just mm. about everything was stored in there. It was. Mm -hmm. It'd be great to have another one downstairs. It's such a long walk to the other end of the house. It is a bit of a hike, especially if you need wee. <laughs> so I'll have to think about decorating. The floor covering. Yes. There's a gap in it there. It's a... Yeah, yeah, that's what it was. Oh, uh, yeah. And it's a uh, glorious mint green. Oh, we've got... Uh, the lamp shades. I'm missing one that I got out the cupboard and put down somewhere and I haven't got a clue where I left it. <laughs> Trivia. It's dusk and uh, there's all the filled in trench work. They've worked really hard today. You guys have all gone home, so that's the trench taking the wastewater over to a ditch there. That was dug out, pipes work was put in, it's been refilled. This is the main micro station that they've put in, massive thing. A couple of breather pipes there or inspections. Pipes, I should imagine they are. I think it's a sealed unit. And what comes out that way will be processed water. So nothing nasty coming out of it. There's the trench work to the south end of the house. So that will take all the waste from the downstairs loo and the two main bathrooms on the first floor and the laundry room. And the trench that goes this way goes around the corner of the house and uh, that will be the north side, two bathrooms, kitchen comes through here as well and the downstairs loo that Mark's just about to put in. There's the exit pipe for all the cleaned water to come into the ditch, the ditch runs that way on the edge of the woods and the pipe work goes through this trench that's just been filled in. The cats are walking it like a path. So the micro station is all installed, pipes are all in, this is the north end of the house, pipes come around the corner here, underneath where I had to repair the cables, and then the trench work goes over to where you can see the four little round discs on the ground there, that's where the micro station is. bar has been clearing out stuff from the house and then goes off to the north end south, yeah sorry south end 
trench work goes around the corner here. Got the vent pipes going up the wall. Uh, so that's all nice and tidy. They made a good job of clearing up after that. That's really good. And then the exit pipe goes across there to there um, for the wastewater to go to the ditch. So it's all done here.